going out there to everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, reflection. And I'm not talking about looking back at your past or, you know, uh, self-reflection. I'm not talking about that, so don't jump off the video yet because, you know, nobody wants to think about their past. Uh, let's face it. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Let's talk, to, let's talk about innovation. Let's talk about money savings. Let's talk about things owner-operators can do to make themselves more efficient. Now, if you own your own trailer, definitely want to stick around for this one. I've been using this uh, trailer, and it's got Solar Guard. It is an elastic paint that they put on top of the trailer that's very reflective, highly reflective. And, it, you know, it's rubber, it's elastic, so it kind of provides a little, you know, layer of, you know, insulation there but it's real thing is to bounce that sun back instead of letting it sit and get into that uh, metal you know because a little science for you here uh, you know the sun has radiation that comes down uh, the radiation hits the top of your trailer and before you know it uh, it warms it up because the trailer absorbs the radiation the light so if you put this solar guard stuff on there when the light hits it, most of it bounces away, does not absorb it. Therefore, you don't have to pay to cool the top of the trailer as much. And let's face it, where the trailers lose most of the cool, the roof, the roof, just like a house. Attic insulation is worth more than wall insulation. Because, you know, just saying, just saying. So. Um, I found this stuff on Amazon. You can look down there in that first comment. I pinned a link to it. It's not that expensive. I'm pretty impressed with the price of it for a five-gallon bucket. I got to say, if I owned my own reefer, uh, I'd get I'd get me a I'd figure out a way to get on top of that trailer. Maybe not on top of it, but maybe a, a, you know a ladder. Um, it would be nice if you had one of those rolling ladders. You know, you could just pull up beside the trailer, get you uh, get you a long. Um, uh, roller system set up going and just roll it rolls on I mean you know you could just kind of you know put it on there thick I would you know I want it I want a nice thick layer on there but the majority of it that I see that's made to go on top of trailers it has like a 10 year warranty on it so I mean looks like it'd be pretty pretty safe to roll a layer of that on there for no more than it is um, like I said this trailer I'm pulling a 2017 Wabash with it on there, and it's got a Carrier uh, 7300X4 unit on it, and I am really impressed with the fuel efficiency of this trailer. Now, I don't think uh, Wabash is really doing anything spectacular with insulation. Uh, maybe they are. I mean, the trailer doesn't look any different, you know, than a normal uh, reefer trailer, but I, I'm noticing, like, you know, a little bit of fuel savings in this trailer and let's face it you know if you spend a few hundred bucks on you know rolling this stuff on top of a trailer um, you know I'm trying to think you know who could you use that could do it for you you know you, you might find a mechanic that you know works on trailers he might he might roll it on there for you for a, you know a fee you know just saying um, but my thought is you spend a few hundred bucks on this uh, with diesel prices being what they are, you know, if you haul a lot of frozen food or whatever, and especially if you're in a hot climate, you know, if you run, if you run down south, you know, if you're an I-10 guy, man, I'd be doing this like today, rolling this stuff on there. Um, I got a story for you here too. This is from Fleet Equipment. It's an old article. It's from 2010, but um, this guy, this guy's working on this stuff. Um, it's Pat Scanyon is a man on a mission as founder and president of Solar Cool Coatings. I don't even know if Solar Cool Coatings are still around. You could look into that, but like I said, there'll be a link to a similar product down there if you want to order you some from Amazon. Uh, he's trying to help refrigerated trucking operations save money by reducing sun-induced demand on reefer units. His pitch seems simple and logical. Most trailer roofs become giant heat sinks in direct sunlight. And a lot of that temperature migrates into the cargo area where it must be mechanically removed. The best way to eliminate this problem is with his product, a bright white acrylic elastomeric, elastomeric coating 
that reflects light and absorbs almost none of its energy. That's what you want. You want that energy bounced away. Take your energy and go away. Uh, let's see. Uh, he says, I started the company five years ago and seemed to be making some progress until 2008 when the economy took a dive, he says. Now fleet managers really don't want to spend any money on products that aren't absolutely necessary. I can't blame them, but they don't realize how fast it could recoup their investment, especially in the South. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, even in the summer, I mean, you're still absorbing heat from the sun on a sunny day. You know what I mean? So, um, I could see this, you know, small cost returning it to, uh, you know, your pocket really fast. Uh, according to solar cool literature, the typical payback per trailer is 12 months or less. So there you go. Um, so, I mean, I, honestly, I think if you do it yourself, you know, he's talking about selling it to fleets. But I think if this is something you could do yourself, my God, I think you could get the money back on it really quick. I mean, okay, let's say I save one gallon of diesel per day running the reefer unit. It's like five bucks a day. You know, what is that, 150 bucks a month? I mean, this stuff ain't that expensive. I'm saying, like, whew. And not to mention, it adds a layer of protective uh, coating to the top of the trailer as well. So, you know, it's like, you know, if, if something were to fall on top of the trailer, you know, whether it be a tree limb or, you know, something like that, you, you I'm not saying it would, but it could protect you from getting a hole in a trailer. Just a thought. Um... The projection is based on saving eight gallons of uh, fuel per week. So he's saying, yeah, you could save about a gallon, a little over a gallon a day. Um, let's see, 32 sunny hot weeks per year, although regional truckers in the Northwest could debate the merits of this, such calculations. So he's not even calculating that on like, you know, the hottest conditions ever. He's saying if you, if, it would take about 12 months if you had 32, uh, you know, hot average, 32 hot weeks. I think you, I think that's pretty reasonable um, debate there. For anyone running predominantly in the Sun Belt states, truckers in this scenario would cut their annual fuel cost by $614, and that's with a national average fuel cost of $240 a gallon. Okay, so. Um, you know, this article, like I said, it's ours from 2010, but so double that. We're running at about 480, and he's, he's even calculating that for off-road diesel. So, you know, if you're not able to buy off-road diesel all the time, you're paying about five bucks a gallon, and that means you would probably pay this back in about six months. Um, and that's, you know, according to their calculations. Scallon sells a five-gallon pail of solar cool enough for one trailer for about $270 or $600 with installation. Yeah, that seems to be uh, the going rate on uh, the Amazon stuff. Now, the one I put a link to down there is four trailers. It is four trailers. So you could probably find some. I think you can, I found some cheaper. I found some that was like $80 a five-gallon bucket. But I think that's for houses. I'm not sure that's made to be rolling down the road uh, at 70 miles an hour. So the, the one I'll link to is four trailers. Now, they are higher. I have noticed they're, you know, in that like 250 to 300, you know, even $400 range. But let's face it. Um, you know, if you're saving, let's say, uh, seven gallons of fuel a week at $35, that's like a three-month return on investment if you put it on yourself. You know, you buy the, you buy the coating. You buy a roller, you buy a long handle to put it on. If you've already got the ladder and set up to do it, hey, you know, I'm just saying, just saying you ain't in that, but maybe 300, 400 bucks. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just thought I'd bring this up for everybody. Uh, I know, you know, now that I've been using this trailer with that uh, solar guard on it, man, I'm like, yeah, I've, I've noticed a pretty good difference. Probably a good gallon a day um, difference, you know. Instead of spending like $80 a day, I'm spending like 80, you know, like 75, you know, instead of 85, 80. That's what I was going to say. But yeah, you know, like about a gallon difference. You know, if you could save, you know, I mean, sit here and do the math on it all day. But, you know, say you could save, figure out how many days you worked last year. 
uh, and say you could save $5 every day you worked last year. How long would that be over the life of a trailer? Let's say you keep a trailer five, seven years. I mean, this stuff could pay for itself, you know, 10 times over. Um, there are other coatings on the market, he says, for sure, and all make similar or greater cost-saving claims. Most of these are intended for commercial buildings, and some have been on the market for more than 20 years, it seems. Uh, odd that trailer builders and buyers have, for the most part, overlooked the potential savings from a more reflective white reefer roof. Wabash National's Solar Guard roof is an OEM installed product available at this time. The school bus industry started painting roofs white more than 10 years ago after hot weather testing showed 20 degree difference in the cabin temperatures compared, uh, comparing white with yellow. So there you go. I mean, imagine you could keep your reefer trailer, um, you know, cooler. Just simply, you know, 20 degrees cooler by painting the top white. Um, the spread of interior uh, temps is even greater with coated and non-coated reefer roofs as much as 40 degrees. My God, like, uh, I, I have noticed. I mean, I'm sitting here in full sunlight and I'm pre-cooling that trailer. That trailer pre-cooled really quick. Now, it does have a you know big carrier unit on it that's pumping and humping, but at the end of the day, uh, I, ha I have noticed it. Does, it's, it seems to be making a difference. Um, you know, Now, we'll test it over a couple weeks. I don't know how long I'll have this trailer. Hopefully, I get to keep it so I can test it. And not to mention, I'm digging the fuel savings. You know what I mean? Like, who doesn't like a good fuel savings? Uh, according to information provided by Scallon and Wabash National, obviously, this could have a significant impact on the amount of time and fuel required to pre-cool a trailer. Bam. You know, there you go. Uh, one would think that officials at the Smartway Transport Partnership would be all over this sort of technology given the group's stated goal of boosting the efficiency of North American trucks and buses. Not, that's not the case, though, says Scallon. I contacted those guys a while back, but they weren't too interested, he says. They said they're focusing on three core objectives, and my product really didn't fit into any of them. Yeah, Smartway is considered, uh, for me, their, their main objective is to line their pockets. That's that's the smart way, way in my opinion. Smart way should get involved. At, at the very least, the group could develop and approve standards for vehicle roof coatings. Uh, none, exist, uh, none exist now, and a number of companies are promoting their special materials with some rather bold, exaggerating claims. This is highlights on the article, Buyer Beware, on the website, Energy Seal Coatings, okay? When it comes to roofs, roofing, darker colors remain, greater heat gain. The only magic in an energy efficient roof coating is the color. A bright white surface reflects the maximum amount of solar radiation, second only to a gold mirror, okay? Well, hey, if you wanna, if you wanna gold leaf the top of your trailer, I guess there you go. Go to leaf it, baby. That's where the real money's at, they say. Um, <laughs> um, uh, what makes the roof coating different from standard latex paint is the resin. Elastomeric resins are designed to be extremely flexible, which is important on vehicular roofs because they move, expand, and contract. Some manufacturers claim their ceramic microsphere or uh, hollow gas glass sphere coatings can insulate a roof. In some cases, these companies actually assign an R value or K value to their products. Uh, ceramics offer very uh, little, if it, any, insulating value. Uh, Scallon agrees that even though this product includes a ceramic compound, it is there only to provide more strength and resin to scratch and resistance to scratches. Okay, so he's saying, uh, you know, they put the ceramic in there, but it's only uh, to help it uh, resist uh, scratches. Uh, a bigger concern for buyers should be the plastic plastic gears that some groups of our competitors use. They're called fillers, and they are intended to give coatings more flexibility. Unfortunately, they also break down pretty rapidly when exposed to direct sunlight for extended periods. Yeah, I don't think you'd want plastic up there. Um, it's probably safe to say that a brand new reefer will offer maximum efficiencies, whether 
or not uh, the roof is white. The sparkling clean aluminum shiny top will reflect a lot of solar rays and insulation will be undamaged by age, punctures and moistures. Thermal integrity of a unit startup starts to decline however soon after it goes into service. Yeah, uh, I looked on Utility Trailers website one time and they said uh, an average reefer trailer loses 5% of its R value per year for the first five years. So if you've got a five-year-old reefer trailer, you're at 75% of the uh, original R value on average. Um, so think of that, you know, anything you could do to help your older trailer uh, maintain and last longer. And, uh, you know, I mean, like I said, if you could lower the temperature in that trailer 20 degrees, think about how little that unit was going to have to kick on compared to otherwise, you know. Um, Great Dane has ThermoGuard liner is intended to combat this naturally occurring phenomenon and extend the performance of insulation according to the company's marketing materials. ThermoGuard can potentially reduce cooling unit run times more than 1,000 hours over the course of five years. I have pulled those Great Danes with the ThermoGuard in them. I do like it. Basically what they've done is uh, they create a one piece wall that goes from top to bottom, front to back. It's just one solid piece. Um, and I can see how that could work because you're gonna get less holes and you're gonna get, and it's it's pretty uh, tear and bump resistant. Like, you know, somebody drags a pallet down that thermo guard wall, um, you know, you don't dig into it like it does some of these other ones. Uh, I'm a big fan of Great Dane and thermo guard. Um, it says, now, if that trailer also happens to have a bright white coated roof, its owner might be able to cut another thousand hours of run time during the same period. So think of that. You put these rubber uh, coatings on the roof and uh, you could cut a thousand hours of run time in five years. That's going to pay for itself real quick. So. I don't know, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this situation. If you own your own trailer, would you be willing to put this on top of it? And if so, uh, would you let me know about it? <laughs> I appreciate it. Take care of each other out there. Remember, I always say people are more important than trucking, and I mean it. So uh, let's take care of each other out there and help each other out. Thanks.